What's up, y'all? I'm Jordy. Welcome to part four of my Global Challenge 3 run. I have a more in-depth description of this team in the part one. I'll leave a link to that in the description. But anyway, it's a Moltres team, it's a Gudra team, it's a Sinistra team, it's a Milotic team. All these Pokemon are very cool. Let's get on with it. Okay, we've got Torn, Chen Pao, Urshifu, Rillaboom, Landorus, and Golden Go. I haven't seen many Golden Goes. Are people sleeping on Golden Go? Because Golden Go is still really good. In fact, Golden Go is really scary for this team because Gudra can't touch it. I have to go Moltres. It's impossible to beat Golden Go unless I Flare Blitz it or bring Moltres. But I don't like this as a Moltres game. Because they have Chen Pao and Lando and presumably Water Urshifu. This kind of locks in the four I need to bring. Just based on what they have, I have to bring these four. Against Chen Pao, Chen Pao is the only thing I have to Terra Moltres in front of. Chen Pao I would also have to Terra Gudra in front of, so just bringing that isn't going to help. That would actually mean Incineroar would be nice, except Incineroar is not good against Landorus or Urshifu. Maybe I could save Terra Grass for my Lotic. That could be pretty good. Terra Grass my Lotic in order to not get bopped by Rillaboom. Take out their Landorus, hopefully. This is going to be a really hard matchup. Oh, okay, I see where those places are now. Okay, that's a good card. Cool hair. Horn Golden Go, yes! I love this. I don't love that you're going to Nasty Plot in my face. But I do love that I'm going to Nasty Plot in your face. Fair is fair then, yeah? Terra? Just defensive? You chose fast. Yeah, no, you chose way too fast. That, you knew that had to be Terra Steel. You were like, I'm clicking this instantaneously. Great bleak win. Specs Terra Steel make it rain. This is gonna hurt. Yeah, bye Grim. But you did your job. Ooh, am I in double berserk range? Good job taking that, Moltres. Is it gonna be a back above half now? And they burned Terra to do it. Yeah. I think I need the healing from Sinistra immediately. Bleak Wind plus Make It Rain might knock out from here. So I'm going to do Sinistra, heal it up, but then, since I don't want Sinistra to take a Bleak Wind and Make It Rain, I'm going to go back into my Lotic instantly. Who's the physical sweeper they're going to, they're setting up for? Urshifu? Yeah, I got to save Sinistra for that. Yeah, go to my Lotic, take the double up, start throwing plus three or plus four racks. Sinistra swapping, so yeah, they are going for the attacks. And then I can always bring Sinistra back in for more healing if I don't feel comfortable going for Life Dew. Yeah, and another hit, we will be in Berserk range again. Because presumably your specs, you're just going to keep doing that, weakening yourself. Nice. Wish I had gotten a speed drop on my Lotic. And a double knockout. Wonderful. I was kind of hoping Gudra, not Gudra, Golden Go would stay alive there. Because if they have Urshifu last, I may have to give up my boosts. 
Landorus. Good. Like to see that. Chen Pao. Could be better. It's gotta be Ice Beam Protect. But do they just read that? I'm a little worried they read that. I don't have Reflect up. Chen Pao could do a lot of damage. They Icicle Crash into Milo. And they Earth Power into Milo. We get our Berry back, and if we don't flinch, Landorus should be gone. Yeah, Ice Beam, be enough. It's enough. Thank you, Milotic. That is the job you were put on this team for, and you are doing it pretty well. Now I want to bring in Sinistra. Heal up the Moltres, Terra. And I'll just Fiery Wrath. I don't want to risk a miss. And at this point, I should be plus four or plus five. I think I can take an Icicle Crash as long as I'm above half. Which I am now. Excellent. Now if I go down, I guess I could be in trouble. Sacred Sword whiffs. Excellent. <laughs> Excellent. And Wrath does all of it? Calm down, Moltres! That's not actually a fire move! <laughs> yeah, that's great, and that's game. Rage Powder, Fiery Wrath again. Love it. Battle was cancelled. GG! Good job, Moltres. That was a great Moltres sweep. Okay, doing pretty well. Let's keep it going. Tornadus Archaladon with a Landorus. And Urshifu Flutter Farigarath. Okay. Urshifu is probably water. So far, they've been like not bringing their Urshifus though. Archaladon, Urshifu, Fluttermane. This is screaming use Gudra. I'm very much in favor of Gudra. I think Farigarath is more of an anti-trick room, so I don't think they'll bring Farigarath. I expect Archaladon, Tornadus, Landorus, Fluttermane. Let's see how accurate that is. Um, do I need Sinist- I need Sinistra. And I need Milotic. That's kind of just the answer, I mean... Those are the four, those are the order, that's the way this team plays. Now, the earlier nasty plot landers that I fought, uh, I hope I never see something like that again. No trainer card, mmm. But yeah, Landorus is the scariest thing, in my opinion. But an Urshifu lead could be trouble too. Arch, Flutter, lead. Okay. Speed on Fluttermane. I might... Do I want to eliminate Fluttermane? I'm more scared of Archaladon, honestly. I think I'm going to set up a shelter. And use Light Screen. Usually I, I can't resist the temptation to just Heavy Slam a Fluttermane, but if it's just Speed Booster, it might not be threatening enough. Because Archaladon could be really threatening. Especially the new Power Herb set that's been running around. Get an Electroshot boost. And I'm definitely going to need some Shelter boosts to knock it out. Okay, I get Light Screen. Nobody's tearing yet. Oh, it's a fake Tears Flutter. 
comboing with Flash Cannon. That should knock out. Yes, it do. Okie dokie. So, what do I do about that? Alright. I only get the one screen. But I get my defense boost. Sinistra could redirect whatever they're gonna do. That's not good. Oh, they're good. They're, they'll just fake tears my Gudra next. Um. I don't know. I guess it's Sinistra. I could redirect and take out Fluttermane. That way they can never get a drop on Gudra. Yeah, my end game has to be they never get a drop on Gudra. If they get a drop on Gudra, I cannot win. So it's Heavy Slam Rage Powder. But I'm not happy about that. Fake Tears Fluttermane, that's a cool tech. That's some good best of one stuff. Like, if they had just doubled up into Grimmsnarl and knocked it out, I wouldn't be that upset about it. It's the fake tears that I really hate. Uh, they're pulling Terra now. It's probably our Chaladon being worried about body press. Yeah. Uh, no. They're stellar. They're ready to kill something. Hopefully it's fake tears plus Draco. Okay, no protect from Fluttermane, that's good. We should get rid of Fluttermane. Fake tears. Alright, I'm no longer gonna have a Sinistra. But you Draco, which is great. Because you get the special attack drops now. And Stellar, that might just be the power herb sturdy set. Fluttermane's gone. Okay. You don't get the fake tears into Gudra. And you were really worried about Gudra too, so maybe you do have Landorus? Oh, and Landorus can't Terra now. Wait, that's really good. Who is that? Durshifu. Okay, Durshifu has to go. I think my best bet is to double into it, but resist the temptation to Terra. Like, I want to Terra Gudra. I don't want to take a super effective close combat. But... Uh, yeah, I'm doubling into it. Uh, Arch switches. That's fine. Hey, it's Torn Last. No Lando. Okay. I'm a lot more comfortable with... Wow, that did a lot of damage. I'm a lot more comfortable with my uh, position now. My Lodic losing a lot of health is fine. Because it was there for Lando. And Durshifu is gone. Thank you. That's great. Now the question is, can Gudra beat our Chaladon before it causes a problem? And are they going to Electroshot my Lottie? Uh, I've decided Gudra doesn't want a Terra. I'm not going to Terrastalize Gudra at all. I'm going to Body Press here. The question is... Do I go for Terra Grass on my Lodic, reading the Electro Shot? Is it possible they would Bleak Wind and Electro Shot? I'm gonna go for the Terra Grass. Because if there's 30 Archaladon, 
<laughs> oh, if they're stamina arch Haladon, I might have just given them a defense boost they need. And with light screen, I think I can actually take Bleak Wind as a grass type. Ugh, that did a lot more than I wanted. Drop on my Lotic? Oh, but they do go for Electro Shot, so we had that right. I don't think I'm gonna live this, though. Yep, and they got the Power Herb. Uh, I'm pretty sure my Lotic goes down here. Uh, I guess I could have held Terra on Gudra for when they throw a Draco Meteor at Gudra. Hmm. Oh, that does so much. I love it. Okay, you're only going to get one hit into my Gudra. And I have plenty of light screen remaining. Actually, you might think this is the last turn of light screen, but it's not. Body press our Chaladon. I just have to take a Draco. And an Icy Wind. Fine. Plus one Draco through light screen. Gudra should eat that. Oh, so comfy. That's gonna be GG's. I don't see Tornadus ever breaking Gudra from here. So we are good. I guess Rocky Helmet could be annoying, but... You have Bleak Wind, you have Icy Wind. You definitely have Tailwind Rain Dance as the last two. Uh, just go ahead and forfeit. Because Gudra has got this. That was a tough one. That Archaladon is really scary, but Gudra is better Archaladon. <laughs> and battles cancel. <laughs> Go get a trainer card. Okay. A lower rated person, so a lot to lose here, but not much to gain. Uh, Chen Pao Urshifu. No other physical attackers. Tornadus, Archaladon, Landorus, Amoongus. So many matchups to worry about. Oh my goodness. Moltres gets forced to Terra by Archaladon and Chen Pao. Chen Pao or Shifu are their only physical attackers. If Gudra comes, it has to Terra. I need to bring in Cineroar for the Amoongus. It's probably those two. Could it be Incineroar Moltres? That would be pretty weak to an Electroshot lead. Yeah, I think it has to be Gudra. 100%. I need my Lotic just because they have Lando. And I think Sinistra. I think I forego screens here. Which is scary. But it's an Amoongus. I mean, I have to bring Incineroar. Oh, what if they force me to Terra with an Amoongus Urshifu lead? If it's Water Urshifu plus Amoongus, Incineroar would just be deleted and then they can spore as much as they want. Oh, that could be bad. I'd have to Terra Incineroar, which feels really bad. Oh, they're an Amoongus fan. Uh-oh. Yeah, they're bringing Amoongus. I'm glad I brought Incineroar. I'm just hoping for that one lead to not be what they do. Uh... That's... Hmm. Could be worse. Uh, protect and bring in my Lotic actually seems okay. I could see a double protect coming out, which would give me a free shelter. But I'd have to Terra to do that. I'm gonna just protect, bring in my Lotic, play it slow. See what they've got, let them show their hand. 
bring in the pretty little fish. I'm the only protect, and there is no Terra. Okay. Sacred Sword into Ensign. Fine. Sand Seer. Gotcha. And a dodge for Milo? Thank you. Let's go ahead and Terra Shelter. No, I don't need to burn Terra yet. I can just swap out. It's weird to pull out Gudra, but I think Gudra needs to go. Bring in Sinistra. Milo gets the full heal. And I should throw Ice Beam at Lando. It's the right thing to do. I'll play this slow. I'm not gonna go for like hard reads that, oh, they're gonna protect that attack with Chen Pao, or they're gonna Terra to survive the Ice Beam. Chen Pao actually swaps into a Moongus. Okay. That's pretty okay. Landorus is not swapping. It could be terastalizing, it could be protecting. Uh, just to protect. What I can do now... Do I want to burn Terra Grass on Milo? Because if I Terra Grass Milotic... I think I can ignore redirection, but is that even important? Would Landers consider a swap? That'd be kind of funny if I were to trick room, let Amoongus be faster, and then just have grass types. I'm gonna throw Macha Gacha, and I'm gonna Terra Grass Ice Beam. I'm committing to it. Ah, Lander is swapped. No! Okay. At least I threw Macha Gacha at the Chen. Oh, it's Archalada? Oh, that's not bad to hit. That's not the worst thing in the world. And now Amoongus isn't gonna be very useful to them. So they may want to try to swap that out. I don't know. Oh, a freeze? Oh, I'm going to thaw them with Macha Gacha. <laughs> hey, you know what, Sinistra? If you want to miss a Macha Gacha, here's your chance. No. Okay, you're thawed. You're welcome. Any burns? Nope, no burns. Just a spore. Doesn't affect me, it's okay. Stamina or Chaladon. Pretty annoying. Both of these seem pretty safe. But I need to get rid of that Archaladon. Maybe I just throw Macha? And Scald Amoongus, like, just fishing for a burn. Or maybe I burn the Archaladon. I'll hit Amoongus. They could just be going for Pollen Puffs. Body Press actually did a lot. And Macha Gacha. And we get the burn, yes! That's really big. Now that body press won't be as threatening. Oh, and they have Sludge Bomb. Ow. Thank you for the berry, but... Mm, I did not appreciate that. What's with these Sludge Bombers? Life do with my Sinistra and throw an Ice Beam at Amoongus. They go for another Body Press, which does very little damage. And get some damage off on your Amoongus, which is great. Always great. And 
hopefully I can heal up my Milotic enough to be out of Sludge Bomb range. Success. Alright, now their body press could knock me out. Melodic's gonna go down. And then Landorus is gonna sweep. Probably. Rage Powder away the body press. Go for another Ice Beam and Amoongus. Like, yeah, I won't be able to Rage Powder away the Sludge Bomb. But maybe they don't go for it this time? Damage on Amoongus is always nice. I guess they do go for a Sludge Bomb. Okay. What do I need to do now? Do I need to get Gudra set up with shelters? I couldn't even do that safely because I could just get spored. I think I need to go into Incineroar first. Keep Incineroar safe. With Rage Powder. And just knock out the Amoongus slot. I either KO Amoongus, or you swap and take a big chunk of damage that you didn't want to take. Yeah, that's good. Show me Chen Pao. Is that Chen Pao? I don't know. No, that's Landorus. Alright, and I can't Rage Powder away the Sandseer Storm either. Which is a little bit annoying. You could say. Good damage on the lander is there. I don't really see how I'm winning this end game. <sighs> Chen Pao probably has Sacred Sword. And Icicle Crash. I guess I could redirect away any Sacred Swords. go for Trick Room here. That would give Gudra a lot of momentum. Flare Blitz into Lando. Presumably they're not going to be able to knock out Sinistra. Okay, that does connect and does take out Incineroar. Pretty lame. Hopefully you don't Draco Meteor here. It's just Dragon Pulse. I should be able to eat that. Ooh, just barely. Good job, Sinistra. And they still have Terra. Probably saving Terra for Chen Pao, if I had to guess. Okay. I need Macha Gacha to knock out Landorus. And I set up a shelter. This endgame is still possible. It's not looking great, but it is still possible. Them still having Terra is a really big deal. I'll be able to get up a shelter before they body press my Gudra, if they're going to go for that at all. A swap from Lando? I did not expect that. Oh, it's just into Amoongus, though. And an Archaladon Terra. Okay. This isn't going exactly as I thought it would. You being fairy actually helps me do more with Machigasha. Like, yeah, is Gudra gonna end up being asleep at some point? Probably. 
but maybe that'll be okay. One more of those will knock out our Chaladon if I still have Sinistra around. They might just be knocking out Sinistra here, though. Since they brought in Amoongus. Flash Cannon does take out Sinistra. Okay. That's alright, maybe. How much Trick Room do I have left? Three turns. One turn will be burned. Just by getting spored. Then I'll have a turn to knock out a moon as a turn to... I don't have enough turns. I guess if they don't have Earth Power, they could just miss Sand Seers. Yeah, I genuinely don't have enough time to, do, to win this. Yep, they just get the Spore. How funny would it be if I was just Sap Sipper this whole time? Okay, yeah, I'm sleepy. That's fine. That's expected. You body press me. It doesn't do anything. Also expected. Now get me the one turn sleep. Oh, are you gonna heal your Archaladon? Maybe. Alright, one turn sleep, knock out Amoongus. There's something there. Chen Pao not having Sacred Sword. Me somehow not being in Earth Power range. It's not looking good. Because another Body Press should put me in Earth Power range. If I'm not there already. Yep, you just heal your Archaladon. Just securing the end game. I get it. Uh, I'm still asleep. Yeah, there's no winning. Dragon Pulse is doing a significant chunk. Okay, what did I do wrong? They have so many things that are so strong into this team. I guess I needed Terra on Gudra instead of Milotic. I terra my Lodic, but it didn't really get me anywhere, because it, like, stonewalled the Moongus for a couple turns, but I didn't make any progress. So I guess that was a mistake. I should have let my Lodic go to sleep and just dealt with it like that. Ah, <sighs> alright. I'm gonna run it. Good game, opponent. You brought all the right things, and you used them correctly. And you have a trainer card featuring a Moongus, so, nice. Okay, Sanchez. You've got, oh, Pow Knight, Enteg, Lamora, Fluttermane, and Tornadus. You know what? I haven't seen Pow Knight yet. This is like Battle 26. Pretty cool. The problem with Gudra is I have to tear out around Chen Pao, and then Glamora is a problem. The problem with Gudra is they have Sacred Fire to burn me. The problem with Moltres is... No, this might be an okay Moltres game. I tear a poison. That's pretty good against everything. I need Grimmsnarl. But yeah, Grimmsnarl and Moltres, pretty good. I think this is a Moltres game. I'd be worried a little bit about, like, Meteor Beam Glamora. Or if they lead a special and physical attacker turn one. And just try to like take out Grimm so I can't get both screens up. But then I obviously need Sinistra. And is it Milotic? Milotic seems good. Honestly. If I can get both screens up, Milotic can put in a lot of work. Resist Entei, throw Scald at everything. Yeah. Not a Gudra game. Not an Incineroar game. The only intimidable thing is Chen Pao. And, oh, shinies, nice. The shiny pig is so cool. I wish the pig, what's it called, boink alone? I wish that was, like, at all usable. And it's just pow knife in the lead. Okay. I have to protect and reflect. 
I have no choice. This is what I have to do. Turn two, I can reconsider my options. An option would be bring in Sinistra, but if they're doubling up with extreme speed and an ice move, Sinistra's not safe. Uh, I guess it's possible they double into Grim. That should be able to knock me out, because Extreme Speed will go before Reflect. That's why I have to protect Moltres. Presumably, that's normal Dragon right here. We're just gonna click the big damage button, and I'm gonna have to deal with it. First damage is not something this team likes to deal with, but here we are. They do extreme speed into Grim. We're EV'd to live that. And we get our reflect. Now they split. Okay, Ice Spinner into Moltres. Cool. Here's the part where I Terra. The part where I'm terrified. I would like to see them split, so I'll attack with Grim. They knock out my Grim, whatever. That's fine. Uh, and it should just be Fiery Wrath for now. Get some good damage on both, but break a potential multi-scale, though I don't think it is multi-scale. Break a Sash. And launch a Spirit Break into Chen Pao if they double Moltres. I do think doubling Moltres is likely, but I also think I live the double up. Extreme Speed triggers my berry, and then I get out of Ice Spinner Rain. You could also be just knocking out Grim. You are. Okay. That's fine. That's not a big deal at all. You're not going to do very much damage with Ice Spinner now. That's the only move you're launching. And it's just cool because it could redirect extreme speed and then die to ice spinner. Or it could hard swap into my Lotic to avoid the ice spinner entirely. I need to Nasty Plot. It's a little risky to go to my Lotic in Nasty Plot, but I'm doing it. Uh, I guess that could have been Rage Powder into Nasty Plot. The double up would still hurt, and they're absolutely going to E speed the Moltres there. They did double Moltres, like we thought. Is there any chance you Ice Spinner Milata here? I don't think so. I was thinking Life Do and then swap in Sinistra. But if I swap in Sinistra now, I can get some redirection from Rage Powder, which I feel like would be better. And I mean, if you double, if you predict it, you don't even knock out, right? Sinistra's not gonna go down to one Ice Spinner, is it? With Reflect Up? No, probably not. Now I get a really spicy Fiery Wrath. Yeah, here we go. Oh. 
That KO'd from there? Oh, right, because it goes before Ray. Well, that's what you would call a mistake that I did. Because I didn't get out of extreme speed range before I pulled that stun. Right. It is Milotic versus the entire world. That is so rough. I'm sure some of you noticed that and were screaming at me that that wasn't going to work. I forgot that that doesn't work. See, because I haven't fought a Dragonite in a long time. Okay. Yeah, Rage Powder and Extreme Speed are the same priority. Dragonite is faster than Sinistra. You can't redirect the Extreme Speed. Skull Dragonite. I throw a Matcha Gacha if they let me. There's no way they're gonna let me. This is gonna do way too much. The Dragonite doing way too much through Reflect? Oh man. If I don't get this burn, I'm already out of it. Burn, burn, burn. No burn. Okay, low roll. Trigger my wiki berry. Get knocked out by Scald? Probably not. Good game. Yeah, I did not play that right. Gudra could have beaten this lead. But I just didn't play it right with Moltres. Moltres probably could have beaten this lead too, but I did not play right. Good game. Okay, I'm still above 1600, and we're fighting a Tatsugiri Dondozo. With Ting Lu, Metagross, Cresselia, and Zapdos. Gapdos. Something in my mind is telling me that Metagross is going to explode. Maybe it's an Endure Tatsugiri with Explosion Metagross and then Psycho Cresselia. That's possible. Lead something with Protect, put my Lotic in the back. Set up Reflect. These are things I need to do. Grimmsnarl and something. Moltres is good, so is Gudra. They both have Protect. Gudra is better against Tinglu. And then I bring Sinistra and Milotic in the back to take care of the Dondozo. If that is what's happening. I have to have Milotic. Have to. That is a law. The whole point of Milotic is to haze Dondozos. And then yeah, I guess I need to count on Gudra to handle the rest. That's doable. Raichu! Sleepy Raichu! Okay, show me Metagross Tatsugiri. Show me I was right about that. No! Zapdos Dozo. Oh, Nozo. Who was gonna be my Terra? It was gonna be Gudra anyway, right? Yeah. So I see nothing wrong with Reflect Terra Shelter. I think that's fine. Um, what could this be? Gapdos and Dondozo? Were you trying to catch Incineroar lead, maybe? I'm not sure. But I don't like it. And I know Shelter doesn't work against Dondozo if they're unaware but it'll get me more damage into the other slots. It's coaching? That's not cool.
Coaching Earthquake. Didn't do very much damage though. Um, would you be Clear Amulet? Is it worth me parting shotting to find out? I think so, and then I'll throw a heavy slam at the Zapdos. They are Clear Amulet. Good to know. At least that did good damage. And they body pressed my grip. Okay. I'm gonna swap into my Lottic. Save Sinistra in the back. I throw another heavy slam at Zapdos. Because then what I can do is whatever damage my Lottic takes here, I can heal up with Sinistra and haze away all the boosts. Coaching again. Don't like that. But I have my Reflect. My Lottic is very bulky. Hopefully bulky enough to take a couple of these. Oh yeah, that did nothing. Fine. Fine. Gonna do the Haze. Gonna do the Swap to Sinistra. Should I swap to Sinistra? I didn't take that much damage. Actually, I could Haze and finish off Zapdos. That might be better. I think that is better. Because, like, a little bit of healing on Milotic isn't going to go very far right now. We could go a lot further later. What happened? What was that? You didn't rage quit. Okay. Landorus. Archaladon. Whimsicott. Whimsicott doesn't get Rain Dance. Entei, Fluttermane, Urshifu. Biggest fear is Landorus, of course. Is that going to be Water Shifu? It seems most people who have Water Shifu don't bring it. I've seen mostly Darks. I think this could be... A Moltres game, honestly. Like, as much as I like Gudra, I think it might be just a Moltres game. I'm worried a lot about Landorus, obviously. Um, but the problem is Entei burning Gudra could be a big problem. Landorus does well anyway. I could see a fairy type lead that forces Moltres to Terra. That would just be annoying. But then I'm hoping I can get a redirect on Lando's Earth Power at some point. Yeah, they seem to have a few things that would appreciate Sun, actually, from Whimsicott. Oh, cool. Crispin with his Magmortar. Nice. Oh, I'm also worried about, like, Whimsicott with some shenanigans. Looks like it's gonna be the beat up stuff. Beat up stuff is a little scary, but mostly alright. I'm gonna nasty plot, and I'm gonna set reflect. And then next turn, I might be forced to burn Terra. Or I could, I guess, protect, get out into Sinistra, and start redirecting body presses. That could also work. 
But I mean, they also have special moves if they don't want to body press. So if I just get Reflect up, they can hit on both sides. Uh, just straight Moon Blasting Grimmsnarl. And Flash Campaign into Grimmsnarl. Interesting. Okay. This could work. I don't hate that. Um, the question is whether I go Sinistra and start redirecting. I wouldn't be able to redirect the Moon Blast. I might have to Terra. Or if I go into my Lodic and just start using Life Dews. I think I want to go with my Lodic. I want to save Sinistra's Rage Powder as long as I can. And with no light screen up, they could take it down pretty quickly. I do think I need to Terra Poison now. Which is annoying, but... What can you do? Swallow Fiery Wrath. And I'll just click Life Do for now. I don't... I think I could probably get away with attacking. I probably could have gotten away with not Terrastalizing Moltres, but I don't know how much damage I'm actually going to take. I assume they would want to Moon Blast there. But I don't know. Oh, they Moon Blast my Lotic. That's great. Get the drop. No drop. Oh, and then Electro Shot? Are they Power Herb? They must be. They don't have Rain Dance on this team. Yeah. And that's into my Lotic, too. Oh, yikes. Well, sorry, my Lotic. <laughs> I did not have to tear the Moltres there. Oh, great. Great damage, though. Love it. Now Sinistra is in. And who do they have left? Uh, I definitely want to set Trick Room. I think I just want to throw Fiery Wrath. And try to just set Trick Room. I guess they could double Sinistra with like Draco Moon Blast. That should pick it up. But I don't think that combo would pick up Moltres. Uh, I guess I'd be worried that Draco into Moltres puts me in, like, extreme speed range. Oh, but they can't extreme speed if I get Trick Room up. Because then Rage Powder will go before their extreme speed. So I think this is okay. I should have just Light Screen. Oh yeah, Helping Hand Draco. That might pick up a knockout. It's on to Sinistra. Yeah, that gets the KO. Okay, Moltres v. World. Now if they have Landorus, I lose. Probably. And I think they would bring Landorus in the back. Man, I just needed to set Light Screen instead of Reflect. I was so worried about the beat up. But they were never even... Yeah, they got me. They got me with the best of one trick, because they led Whimsicott Archaladon, which is beat up Stamina, and then they didn't even have Stamina. Fluttermane is fine to see. Don't care about that in the slightest. That looks like Landorus. Okie dokie. And a special attack booster on Fluttermane. That's really bad. Is there anything to stall out? Nope. They don't have anything. I only have Reflect. They have Terra left. I'm gonna just protect for now. They're not burning Terra. They're not protecting Landorus. Just Shadow Ball Earth Power should get the knockout. And Moltres loses. GG. Yep, that's what they're doing. Ah. And with the special attack booster, I think even if I did have Light Screen up, I don't think I was gonna take this double up. Because Special Attack Booster Shadow Ball does so much, but I lost the second I Terra'd my Moltres. 
Except then they would have Moonblast super effective, so... That combo in the back was just too good into Moltres. And they knew that it was good into Moltres, so they took out everything else. Good game. That was just well played by them. They got me with the trickery. GG. Alright, we're back with the rental code. If you liked this video, which you probably did if you made it this far, go ahead and don't forget to leave a like on it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And uh, I'm Jordy. And uh, alright, peace.